look yummy. We've got veggies. I just got off the phone with Chie. Have you checked your TV? Nothing came on, right? I mean, there was no glow or anything. It's definitely raining outside, though. Does this mean the Midnight Channel's off the air? I'm being serious here. Now that we beat that Amino Sagiri, the case is completely over, right? Haha, <laughs> awesome. Sorry, I didn't mean to hound you for an answer. I just felt nervous. But it's finally sinking in. All of us together. We did it! Man, all these things are coming back to me. Like, when I put you on the spot and asked you to be our leader? <laughs> what am I getting all worked up for? The others must all be super happy right now, too. I bet Chia is practically crying her eyes out. All right, I'll call you again later. Seriously, though. Thanks. Sorry. Whew. Sorry to keep you waiting. Wait, huh? Is it just you here, senpai? Seriously? This is the time we all decided on, isn't it? I was watching TV at home, but it seems like I fell asleep. When I woke up, that New Year's show, Toshi Koshi Kuru Toshi, had already started, so I rushed out here. Sorry we're late. Hellos! I'm sorry, Sensei. It's all Yosuke's fault. Ah, you're such a good bear. Me? 
It was 100% your fault. But I am sorry about making you wait. We had an emergency at work. Everyone had to refill all of the lucky draw bags. We just finished a second ago. Because a certain someone just crammed a bunch of stuff into the bags without checking any of the prices! <laughs> do, 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 do. Talking about you, you little... Moving on! Hey, Sensei, where's Nana-chan and her dad? Doofus, you can't come out on a cold night like this. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan just got temporarily released from the hospital for the holidays. They aren't healed yet. Well then, where's everyone else? Why are only the guys here? D don't tell me. Is this going to be some lame guys' night celebration? N no lovely girls? Hell no. But man, they're late. They should have gotten here a while ago. I wonder if they're all meeting up at Yukiko-senpai's house first. You know, like to put on their kimonos. K kimonos Did you hear that, S -s sensei Kimonos! Right. You guys are getting way too hot and bothered. You guys? Hey, I wasn't... It's written all over your face! Although, I must say, seeing Rizet in a kimono would be quite a sight. Whoa. Maybe Naoto's in one, too. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little... I'm sorry about the wait. Sorry. We went to buy some heating packs and ended up running late. We're sorry. Uh. Huh. Uh, what's with the non-reaction? What? Where are your kimonos? Why would I be in a kimono? We aren't going to be out long enough to bother with putting one on. See, that's what I thought. I told you all that from the beginning. Ow, my ears! You got your hopes up on your own. Don't take it out on us. A girl has to save her best outfits for the moments that count the most. Huh? A kimono's one of a girl's best outfits? Wait, you're implying that you're out of our league. She wasn't implying. My heart just froze over. Um, shouldn't we be more mindful of the time? If we don't hurry, we'll have to do the countdown here at the entrance. Oh no! We're going to miss the two-year shrine visit! This is my first time being with friends on midnight of New Year's Day! I'd always just spent it with everyone at the inn until last year. Actually... I'm glad we were all able to celebrate today here peacefully. Yeah. Alright everyone, let's get going! They're handing out Amazaki over there. Uh, uh, not till New Year's. Hey, how huh? long till next year? Uh. Oh. oh, it's almost time. <laughs> okay, five, four, three, two, two one. one. <laughs> Happy New Year! I'm glad we're here together. New Year's here. Finally, the New Year. Let's here. make this year a great oh, happy new year, this both year of you. Too, partner. Thank you. <laughs> it's not your <laughs> celebration. Nope, none for you, Rise. What? And the same goes for you, Yukiko. Oh, come on, just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's snowing. Wow. Oh. I told you it was cold. Do you think the snow will pile up? This is what they call a white New Year's, huh? No one calls it that. It's a new year, but you're still Moranji. What? Moranji. Oh. What? Hey, hey, what are you nodding for? <laughs> <laughs> Moranji! Shut up! The leading group has crossed the big Showa Bridge, and they're using their final kick as they prepare to hand off. The runners for the next leg wait for their turn to don the sash and run. This relay point was changed in 2009.
Ah, there you are. All right, are we ready then? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you too, big bro! We'll probably still be a bit of a pain for you, but may things go well this year. In any case, you've changed over this past year. You've got a man's face now. I didn't see you while I was hospitalized, and that's what made me notice. I feel relieved, since so much happened. There's no denying it. You can't fool my keen detective eyes. Dad, can we eat yet? All right, let's dig in. Man, I can't thank those guys working the holiday at Jeunesse enough. I wandered over there and they even had New Year's food. Thanks for the food! Let's eat. Nanako, what do you want to eat? I'll get it for you. Uh... Uh... Kurumaki! Sorry to keep you waiting. Were you waiting long? I hope not. I couldn't decide which kimono to wear since I thought you'd notice the smell of mothballs. How do I look? Although, I'm always wearing a kimono, so it might not be all that different than usual for you. Thanks. I really like this color and pattern. I don't wear any kimonos that stand out when I'm helping out at the inn, so I don't get many chances to wear this. Many people talked to me on my way here. A lot of them were our regular customers and our suppliers. I guess they thought I was working since I was wearing a kimono. They all told me it must be tough to have to work today. I think this is the first time I've been hiding something from everyone in the shopping district. But for some reason it felt... Exciting. And my heart's pounding even more right now. What wish will you make today? Thanks. I was going to make a wish about you, too. I guess we really think alike, don't we? Then... Let's both make wishes for each other. I'm sure they'll come true. Please heed our earnest wishes, God. Do you want to draw fortunes? got a small blessing. Looks like I'm a step behind you. <laughs> that might not be so bad. I, I do like your back, after all. Oh, I shouldn't say that. We're only talking about fortunes right now. Our visit to the shrine went by in a flash. Enjoyable times always end so quickly. The night comes so much faster when I'm with you. I never thought such things before. When I'm with you... I experienced so many new things. Do you want to go to a cafe or something? 
Oh, but it's still the first three days of the new year. Cafes may not be open. Are you sure? If it's not a bother, then all right. <laughs> Although, with my kimono on, that might not be such a good idea. I might mess it up if I'm too excited. <gasps> That's not what I meant! Nanako-chan will be there, so I was just thinking about playing with her. She was all alone at the hospital. Oh, hey, why are you laughing? <laughs> That's it. Let's just go look for a shop that's open. You're back. Looks like we got a lot of snowfall this year, huh? Hey, I want to make a snowman! A snowman, huh? I'd help you make one, but the doctor told me to avoid bending over so that my back would heal up. What about you, big bro? Nanako, don't get too worked up, all right? You'll get sick and have to stay at the doctor's for a long time. Okay. If you get cold, come right in. Can you promise that? Uh-huh. Big bro, that's amazing! How did you get it so big? some manga when I was at the hospital. If you have guts, then you can get a cool frog t-shirt or become the best boncho. All right, I think you two have done enough. Let me help now. I think I can take it home from here. Yeah? Just watch and learn. <laughs> You're not the master of snowmen in this house yet. There. It's done! 
It still needs a face, though. We should draw one for it. We're gonna draw a face? Hey, Big Bro, I want it to look like Teddy. Can you make the face look like Teddy? It's a Teddy Man! <laughs> it looks so cool! You're pretty good. Good for you, Nanako. If we don't go in soon, you'll catch a cold. Aww, already? I'll make you something hot to drink. Well, it'll just be coffee. Okay, make it sweet for me. Happy New Year.
Happy New Year. Happy New Year!
Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Welcome to the Velvet Room. What business do you have here? My, quite formal of you. I did not realize that the year had passed. After all, this room is distance from time. Ah, I remember now. I have something I must tell you. Marie has left this room. I suppose that means that her purpose here has come to an end. I do not know everything. This room is tightly bound to your fate. My master selects the scenery and even the other residents to match the fate of our occasional customers, and we always change. You may have already noticed, but it was you who ushered her here. She arrived in this place not long after you first visited this room. All we did was provide a name and a role for her. Your fate led Marie here, and you forged a bond with her. We are but attendants along the journeys that our visitors take. We cannot simply intervene in events. However, if you wish, I can locate Marie and take you to her. I must warn you though, it may involve danger. What is your choice? I apologize for my meddling. Please, forget what I said. Is there anything else I may help you with?
Happy New Year. Happy New Year!
You're back. Happy New Year! Oh, wait, I already said that. I hope we get along this year, too! But I already said that! <laughs> Sorry to drop by unannounced. I thought about calling you, but we were already in the area. Thank you for inviting me in! You've got to wait for him to actually invite you in first. Sheesh. Do you have any plans during the break? If you don't have anything lined up, why don't we go skiing? There are a lot of mountains in the area, and it seems that there are a lot of little ski resorts around here. It'll be a cheap trip because it's local, and the snow quality's supposed to be pretty good, too. What do you think? Actually, I've already asked Chie and Yukiko about their schedules. They both said that they're free, too, so I'm going to start making serious plans for this. Yukiko's usually busy during this season, too. If she's free, I'm pretty sure everyone else should be able to come. Ooh, another overnight event. I'll leave ski tracks of love under the frigid sky. Hey, Yosuke, do we have a plan for our second chance at a surprise sneak-in? Why are you assuming that we're going to try that again? What happened last time was bad enough. It ain't over till it's over. That doesn't make much sense. I mean, stop bringing that up. We're talking about skiing here. Skiing? Ah, you guys are here. Hello. Sorry for barging in. Oh, and Happy New Year. Oh yeah, same to you. Well, we're gonna go now. Sorry, but I'm leaving you to fend for yourself for a while. We should be back by the middle of the month. Are you going on a trip? Nah, we're headed to the hospital. Nanako was only allowed to leave the hospital for New Year's. I need to take her back. Seriously? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned stuff like skiing at a time like this. No, that's, that's okay. Nanako's getting better, but the doctor wants to be sure, just in case. I'll be going along for physical therapy and to keep her company. You don't want there to be any germs hiding away inside you, do you? Don't worry, I'll be with you. It won't be for much longer, okay? Well then, sorry, but I'll have to count on you to look after the house. See you, big bro! Poor Sensei. Are you all alone at home again? I know! I'll stay here with you until Nana-chan and Pops come back. Stay? Wait, do you plan on moving in? Don't be stupid. He already has to do all the housework. I can't saddle him with some burden like you. Sensei, your life with me will be priceless. Wowee! Now that's my Sensei! You're agreeing just like that? Man, I'm no kanji, but you seriously are an easygoing guy. Now that that's decided, I'm gonna go get my bare longings and some snacks. Man, he's out of our control. Look, just let him spend one day here at least. If he bugs the hell out of you, you can send him back to me whenever you want. And think about that ski trip. I'll send you an email once I've got all the details worked out.
you're late. Of course. Yo, 